Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 19 as we continue on uh, doing some farming here. Let's see here. I think I think I have to get the cedar working. Yes, right. Yeah. And good thing he's all lined up. We're actually doing pretty good on both fertilizer and soybeans. Now is there anything else that I have to do? Oh, field 18. That's right. <clears throat> I'm going to, I think in this episode, we're going to maybe finally buy field 18. Maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. Um, let's see. We've got 183,000. It's going to cost. 171,000. I guess let's just head on down there and get it done. Might as well, right? And then we'll have like this massive um, harvest to do <laughs> with this one combine that we own. And that'll take like five episodes just right there. Maybe, I probably not. Uh I'm getting I'm <laughs> I'm getting hiccups. Like I just started I just drank something before I started uh yeah, before I started recording and now I'm getting hiccups. Wonderful. Oh, well. All right. Let's kind of pull up a little further. This area is going to be... <clears throat> all right. So we're going to want to cu eventually cut all these trees down here. So I think... X space to buy it use and hopefully we'll have enough uh, lime to lime the whole field I think we will yeah we're gonna have to you know start tearing some of these trees out I guess Which is always fun, not. We've even got the tree down here. <clears throat> Helper D has completed their task. Ugh. The heck? Kind of get the feeling he's going to fail in his task again down there. All right, so let's just do this. Um, we're okay. So I guess what I'm going to have to do then is pull this guy down. Uh, oh, there's a stump there. Wait, where's my stump grinder? And I'll just grind that stump away. I thought there was a stump over there somewhere. Is that it? That is it. All right. I'm just kind of, you know, trying to stay busy around the farm while 
we're, you know, doing all the seeding and everything, because it's going to take a while still to finish, you know, fields 15, 16, 17. Oh. Okay. So let's just go ahead and we're going to take the stump grinder down to the other field and and then we'll just come back we'll get the uh, the chipper And we will, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> I, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm like, am I going to keep it? Am I going to keep it overnight? Or are you, or am I going to turn it in? I think I should keep it. Though part of me is like, sell it. Oh, the other thing too, can I borrow any more money? <gasps> I can, I can still borrow more money. I guess since we bought that other field, um, I don't know that I wanna borrow more right now. Man, I wish I had a trailer. I wish I had one of those logging trailers. I don't... They're so freaking expensive, though. Well, actually, how much is that little logging... Um, small one? $54,000. Oh, I forgot we have this the new Anderson group, or Anderson equipment. Man, that's cheap. But how much smaller is it? That's the question. And I have not used one of these yet. Actually, it doesn't look that small. But it definitely doesn't look nearly as beefy, so I don't know. I don't know if it'll pick, pick up the things we need it to pick up or not. Let's drop that off for right now. Are we still up here working? Yep, still going up there. Hopefully by the time, well, I don't know, we'll see. I was just thinking, you know, hopefully by the time we get back with the, um, with the shrip, the chipper, our cedar might be done, but then I don't know, it might not be. Don't know. All right, we're getting close. Um, this is kind of a big piece of machinery for this little John Deere to haul, but I think we, I think it'll do it. It's way bigger than this John Deere. <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can put... 
Let's see here. I'm going to see if I can put larger tires on this John Deere. I mean, I know I can do it, but... It's been a while since I've done it. Okay. Narrow tire. Oh, look at that. It's like normal tires. Tires with weights. There we go. Customize. It's gonna cost us two grand. Oh. Let's do the repair on it while we're here. It's like a it's like a whole new tractor now. It's weird because like I'm not used to driving one of these with uh, the weights on here, <laughs> or, or the wide tires. I mean. All right. So how are we doing up here? He's gonna be back. He might get stuck on the combine up there pretty soon. You don't really realize how big this Jens chipper is until you see it being pulled by a, a John Deere 6M. It's a pretty darn big chipper. Looks like we finished most of the, uh, it looks like we got most of the helper A's block line. Okay, so there is the combine. And I guess I might as well just go to this end of the field because we're going to have to do 16, well, 15, 16, and 17 <clears throat> all at the same time. A little bit, I'm a little bit curious how much money we can borrow. So yeah, we just have a little bit to uh, a little bit of liming to do right here. Be done. All right, Rose. Couple spots. I'm not going to really worry about it. Okay, helper. Helper A has completed his task. All right. However, helper A is going to have to go down. It's going to have to go down and get the. Uh, well, I don't know. We might not. We might be all right on fertilizer. It's going to be really close, but we'll pro we might be all right. Remember when I remember when I said I was gonna play farming simulator like this forever, like do a whole series just playing it from like straight down. 
Or maybe like a three-quarter view. <laughs> it totally looks like a totally different game. That was weird. It wasn't letting me lower the deck. Or I don't know. Maybe I was just hitting the wrong button. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. We're going to take this up. We're going to refill the uh, lime tank on this so that we're full on lime. I want to get the I want to get the ball rolling on you know getting the time moving so that we can fertilize and we can do everything else we need because I mean there's going to be a lot of fertilizing that's going to need to be done a lot and actually I might go ahead and buy one of the large fertilizer tanks it's, well, it's basically this tank right here, but just buy a second one just for having fertilizer in it. So I don't think they're terribly expensive. Well, I think to get them all kitted out, they might be, I don't know, 80000 maybe? Might not be that much. We'll see. That might be for the big one, too, but I don't know. Still doing all right on fertilizer. I think it's going to be close, but we might actually be we might actually be able to do the whole field. And let's see. Do we need to do any weeding? I want to say I've already done all the weeding on those fields, but I honestly don't remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought I just had my mic turned off. And then I was like, oh wait, I totally didn't have it turned off. <laughs> Heading back to the farm. So whenever I, I'm thinking like when I have one of those situations where most of my fields need to be limed is when I'm basically just going to lime everything regardless if it needs liming or not. Um, that way all the fields are on the same cycle. If that makes sense. Alright, so we're going to pull up here. Okay, and then let's see, let's go get this. Where's the, um, I'm trying to find the fertilizer spreader, and I don't remember 
exactly where it is. Uh, helper H is blocked by... Okay. I was kind of worried about this happening. Please start engine first. Uh oh. Yeah, I think the only fields that I have yet to weed are the big, you know, 15, 16, 17, and then field 18. So I'm going to take this up to the top of the field uh, 17, basically where the combine is right now. That way, as soon as it's ready to go, we'll be able to start... Um, weeding and then I think right there below field 16 where the little yellow dot is on the map I think that's the fertilizer spreader and we've got quite a lot of fertilizing to do helper F has completed his task all right so in that case, let's go over I did. Okay, that was weird. Like the engine wouldn't start. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to kind of keep an eye on things. No, no, don't jump out of the tractor. Okay, here we go, here we go. Um, beam boom, beam boom. Let's get this guy moving. We might be to the second growth stage on everything except right there. Oh, no, I can't see over there. Let's slow down time for right now. All right. So I'm going to do kind of like a, a headland of weeding here and then let's see where is the yeah so just all these fields and then field 18 so we can come over here so I think I've got a weeder sitting over by field what 21 
Is that field 21? I don't remember. You guys think I remember these things? Heck no. Absolutely not. Oh! Big news today. Brad M73 bought a 3D printer. And it'll be here on Sunday. And <laughs> I got like, I got a pretty good deal on it. I got an EPAX X1, which um, if you're in any way into 3D printing at all and you've ever heard of the Anycubic Photon, in many ways it's very similar to the Photon. As a matter of fact, it'll print any file um, that you make for the, the Photons. Um, But I got, like, a really good deal on, from Amazon, so I was like, I don't like Amazon. I hate buying stuff from Amazon, but it was definitely the best deal, so I was like, okay, I'll do it. And so, um, yeah. So now I'm going to have to design some, like, 3D printed poop nuggets for everybody. Or fart nuggets, I mean. <laughs> As if they're different? I don't know. That's exactly the tracker I wanted to be in. All right. Yeah, see, there's this one corner of the field right here. Right there. It's, we can put the, where we can do the weeding on it. We just can't do the fertilize, fertilization because it's already fertilized in stage one. And then in stage two, the fertilization kind of reset. Oh, wait, that's, oh, uh, where? Where is the... Oh, it's down there. Uh... Wait a second. Have I ever been up here before? I think I have. I just kind of like realized that there was a, uh, this tower right here. I'm sure I had to have been up here before. All right. Anyways. All right, so, we, well, we'll go down here. I guess we'll just do all the fertilizing down here, I guess, I suppose. And I guess and suppose. And now we're going to have to switch the tires back. Oh, wait. No, let's just, just be safe. I'm going to switch the tires back to narrow tires. That way we don't accidentally do any damage. Boom, 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 boom. I don't ask. It's better that you don't. It's better that that way. Um, so 19 is good. 24, 25 can be fertilized. All right. Ah. I did it again. Every once in a while I hit that E button and my <laughs> my character just jumps right out of the, the tractor. Can't be helped. Or can it? I'm sure it probably can. Okay, so we're fertilizing. We're getting that extra, I don't know, 15 or 20% or whatever right there. 
everything up here is going smoothly. And let's take a look and see what that other fertilizer is going to cost me. So we got 39,000 extension. We'll do the big extension. We need to do the narrow tires and the large spreading disc. So $48,000 is going to get us the big. So can we? Why does it say $2,000 new vehicles? What did I do? He's working, he's finished. Oh, borrowing money, that's right. Oh, come on. So I'm just gonna park this up here. And then let's go and buy. Well, we'll wait till we get down there. That way we don't crash our tractor. Helper C has completed his task. That means this guy is done. good on gas so we won't we don't need to get gas here or yet here yet yet here uh, fertilizer tech boom boom narrow tires bye and then I think this thing holds like quite a bit of fertilizer so let's see this thing's going to cost us like 30,000 easy. Oh, we got the new um we got the new Pioneer. So instead of being lizard seed bags, we actually have a seed company except for fertilizer. But for seeds we got Pioneer. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so we got some fertilizer out here. I thought there was, I thought they had a brand name on the fertilizer too, but I guess it was just the seeds. Anyway, that's kind of cool. It's a first. Because I'm pretty sure they've never had seed brand names in the game before. And this isn't, we're not going to fill this up. We'll probably fill it, you know, halfway up or so. All right, so there's halfway full, which should be more than enough for what we're going to be doing here. Come on. There we are. Probably do go down there and do what is it, field 21? Yeah, but we won't. Boy, that that part that hasn't grown yet that's way bigger than I thought it was 
uh, gonna be <laughs> you really see it from over here now I'm fairly certain that even though I've got the big tires on here right now because it's the first growth stage I don't think it damages the crops we're not going to find out on this first field because we don't own it. <clears throat> Just doing like the little test spray there. Nope, and no, no crop damage. All right. We are, though, going to have to do further left. Okay, so we'll get down here once once the field straightens out. We'll just go ahead and hire the worker, and um, and then he'll continue to do continue to do the rest of the field. How's that? Hopefully we can get all of this done tonight, today, or, you know, whatever time it is where you are. So how much time do we have left? Oh, we got like 20 minutes left. Okay. Um, already. So we'll do field 21. We'll kind of see how much time we have left and how much of the big field we have fertilized. I would like to get all of this done in this episode, but I don't know. We might be cutting it pretty close. Weeding will definitely get done. The only thing I'm not sure on is the... Uh, oh, no, we missed like a little strip of weed there. And right up there, too. And right back there, too. Uh, eh. Which is not a big deal. I mean, it's not going to... Just having a few strips of weeds there isn't going to dramatically affect our, um, our farm or anything like that. But uh, this field... Oh, this is the okay. All right, let's fire you really quick. I think we got the bad part there. No! No, no, no. And higher. Okay. I can barely just see the line right. Well, I can't really see it. 
I can see it. You probably won't be able to tell unless you really, really, really know what you're looking for. Um, and you might know what you're looking for. What the heck is going on here? Why did he just go like five feet and then stop? Why didn't he turn around? That's weird. Like I did one pat, like one, like pass down the field and then he backed up and I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything. Let's see what the hired worker does. Should just make a right and turn around. And that's what he's exactly what he's doing. Huh. I don't know why he didn't do that before. Probably because I wasn't watching. Uh, da, 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 da. Where did all the um, the trailer uh, the trailers go? Are they down at the farm? They must be. They're not up here. I'm just thinking about what I can put these wood chips in, but. I don't know. So this is going to be done. We could just take... We could just, just take him just to kind of go down this edge of the field with the... Um... Oh, yeah, here's the trailers there. All right. I'm just going to run down here. We're going to see if Helper G is blocked by an object. Hmm. Ah. Uh, come on now. Be, be nice. It's kind of, it's really hard to see where the uh, divider is now. It's going to be like right about here. I'm not even sure that little strip of weed is, is of weeds is going to do anything, so I'm just going to take this back to the farm. I could have dropped this off. We could have gotten the uh, weeders and gone up to the upper upper level. Oh, wait a second! Wait a second! Now, now I'll take this back. I guess. I guess. Okay. So we'll drop this here for now. <clears throat> I kind of want to take this back. But I kind of also want to buy a larger trailer. Let's see how much a larger trailer is. Like the Yaskin. 
See, that holds 31,000. That's way bigger than the 21,000 we have right now. It's not terribly expensive. this is going to cause a problem here or not. It might bump something. <clears throat> it's going to hire the worker for right now. We haven't even used 10% of the uh, fertilizer in here, which is good. Now this is where we're gonna run into the problem. And I can see that even though we would have some overlap on this right part that's not grown up yet, I can definitely see that, you know, it's not getting the benefit of the fertilization. So let's pull off, let's let him go. And as soon as I'm done, we'll be able to fast forward time again. I think, no, maybe not. Okay. I'm just thinking maybe maybe I should go down and get the other weeder really quick, but I think by the time I go down there and get back up here, it's going to be like he's going to be done. Yeah, I don't I don't I think it's just gonna be a waste of time. So let's just stay up here. It's kind of a shame that when you fast forward time it doesn't like you know fast forward the tractors and everything. Because that would really I think that would make a big difference in this game. Especially from you know not only just a farm simulation but also a farm management aspect. Um, I think it would kind of add another yet another level to this game that, um, you know, isn't, that doesn't exist right now. see we missed a little spot there and a couple here that might be where that might be where that little dip in the field is because i think it seemed like i had that problem it seemed like i had that problem before yeah like right here yeah that's exactly where it is so um i think really the only way to fix that is going to be to you know, after the next harvest, maybe just do the terraforming and just, or the, the, the landscaping and just 
smooth that out. I think there's a couple other little places over there as well. All right, so now we can fast forward time. We're gonna do the full 120. We just have a tiny touch to do here. Tiny touches. Wait, what? So we're going to be able to fertilize this really quick. We'll go down to field uh, 18. I'm going to slow down time to 60 instead of 120. That way we're not going too incredibly fast. Especially because I think we still have the wide tires on this tractor. Okay. So we're going to go this way. Just, to, just a different way to go, I guess. I don't know if it's any faster than going the kind of the snakier way that we've been going. But we should be able to get all this done and then we'll be ready to do the harvest and the you know seeding and all that good stuff you know, in the next episode. And if we can get you know another good price on soybeans. I'm kind of thinking that with all these fields, we're going to be pretty close to completely filling our our home silo because it holds 200,000. And I, I just feel that we're going to be able to get very close to that. I'm just doing this manually. I didn't hire the worker or anything. And as soon as this field is done, I'm just gonna go full blast, full, full speed ahead. Actually, I can probably do that right now, but um, we're not, we're not doing that. There is kind of like a little sliver right here, but it's not going to dramatically affect the, the price because it's just not. And full speed ahead. All right. And that's pretty much going to be it. Oh, no. We've got weeds growing up on the... <laughs> It, it does kind of, I, I do get a little bit triggered seeing the weeds there, but nah, not, not that big of a deal, I don't guess. 3202, loan interest. See, the loan interest is not much, so it's not really that big of a, even the vehicle leasing cost wasn't really significant. And I think, let's see, yeah, everything's dark blue. So we're pretty much good. We're good to go.
Oh wow, this is already ready to harvest down here. What? Why is that field already ready to harvest? I don't... I don't understand. I literally don't understand. Because look. Do I have the crop growth on, uh, on fast? I shouldn't. Ah, fast growth. Yep. <laughs> we'll keep it on normal. I don't know why it was on fast. Now that I've slowed it down to normal, it's going to cause even more problems. Do I have withering on? Weeds on? Ah. How much time do we have left? Oh, we're almost... We're almost out of time. But that's cool, because when we come back, we'll be ready for the new harvest. Um, hopefully then we'll be able to get all the, you know, everything on the, um, the same growth cycle. What's going on with this? Oh, I must be, like, just outside the draw distance of that light. I'm like, what? Wait, it's doing it again. I don't know what's going on, you guys. All right, so. As far as our crop prices, we got 2880. So let's just say we had 2000 or 200,000. Um it's just going to be 200 times uh 2880. And that's like five hundred and seventy six thousand dollars. So if we can fill we can fill our home silo, that's how much money we're gonna get. And we might get kind of close to that. If we do get that close, then by all means I am going to um okay, that field's ready. And then this field up here is mostly ready. Alright. Very awesome, guys. Uh, this Does this one go back to the farm? Ooh. Ah, no, I don't want to do that. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to pull the map up, and I hit my build a button. That, okay, that's the other one. All right. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this time. Um... Thank you so much for joining me for more Farming Simulator 19 once again. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be recording another episode tomorrow or over the weekend. Sunday is going to be pretty busy, I think, um, especially when my or you know if and when my 3D printer arrives, and because um, I'm going to lose my mind. Not really, but I want I want to set it up as, as soon as possible and you know, get a test print going. So um, I look forward to doing that. And uh, that's probably going to take up most of my time on Sunday. But um, but I don't know. You know, in between prints, um, you know, maybe I'll squeeze in a uh, another recording. But thanks so much again for watching. Uh, as always, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know how I'm doing down in the comments section. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. And I do try to respond to uh, most questions and um if you haven't done so please subscribe for this and many more videos i am brad m73 i will see you all next time for more farming simulator 19 bye for now